JX Crafts once again on YouTube and uh, I don't know if you guys can see me I'm just myself there we go anyway I'm testing out the bulldog that I did the repair on and it's doing pretty good um, it's walking it for about this two days now just to put as much as you know, just to push the limits of the plug and so far it's doing very well it's holding up pretty good I checked it there's no no uh, pro, pro, no really uh, it hasn't cracked it hasn't squalled it it has burned though it's ashed but that's fine we want we, we want that cake to build up on that piece too and um, what I'm smoking actually is something different that I picked up yesterday, which is kind of uh, really bad stuff. It's this Bokum Reef. Whoops. I don't know, I'm about to make a big turn here. Anyway, it's holding pretty good. This tobacco is really bad though. It's got it's supposed to be like a bourbon whiskey. I don't taste it. I just taste like a really bad cherry. And <clears throat> it's got a, a huge amount of tongue bite. I can't really blame it too much because I don't know how long this, this tobacco had been sitting on the shelf that it is dry. Or, It is so dry, it is not funny. The pipe is good. It, um, it's not, it's not overheating. It's staying a little cool, as it should. Staying cool as it should. I don't know what you guys can see right now. Hold on, I'm gonna stumble it just myself. And of course, I'm here at the store early. It hasn't even opened yet. I got 10 minutes till it opens. You know, back when cars used to have bench seats instead of these headrests? And I think that was because since a lot of men wore hats back then, they couldn't have this headrest. Anyway, smoking really good. There's the patch. I'm just holding up pretty good. I'm going to touch it up a bit more. Anyway, let's see how well this holds. I think it'll hold really good though. But it looks <coughs> pretty much seamless, does it? And it went out. That's yeah, fine, I just had ash. You know, I still got a bit of my tobacco in there.
Anyway. Welcome brief. I got it because it was cheaper than Captain Black. Not even by a lot. It was like Captain Black is probably like ten, like ten dollars. This stuff was eight, but they both give you tongue bite. But this is just <clears throat> at least Captain Black has a pleasant taste. This does not. Anyway, I can't blame it too much because turn this off. I can't blame it too much because uh, it, it was dry. It was so dry. It was like paper dry. And I took it home. I put it in a jar. Put a humidifier in the jar with it. One of those cigar humidifiers. And just taped it to the lid of the jar. And I left that overnight. And it went out again. I give up. Maybe if I tamp it down some more. And I left it in the jar overnight. Well, I can't just see it this morning. The tobacco was still dry. And the tobacco was still dry and uh the sponge inside the humidifier was completely dry. It's not as bad as it was before, but yeah, it was still dry. Anyway. About this pipe though. It's going to uh I'm gonna do a full review on it, but so far I'm lacking the results. And I'm glad I was able to revive it. To a point where it's usable again. It's been forty eight hours since I did the since I did the repair. So everything is dry. Everything is completely set now. The epoxy and all the glues that I used in it, they should all be done. Uh, the store hasn't opened yet. Anyway, I'll keep you informed. And once I get home, I'll do the full review of this pipe. All right. Thanks. All right. Well, after smoking this pipe for about two days, I've noticed I, and I did this, <clears throat> I know you're supposed to let the pipe rest, but I did it in this case <clears throat> to push the limits of that plug, which actually did very well. It's lasting. Just the plug now, get a shot of that of the inside. It's black and sooted. But it's still good. Yeah. Alright. Anyway. Here's the repair that we did. Look at that. Focus. Yeah. That's good. It matches. Very good. It does seem a little noticeable because it's uh, shinier than the rest of the pipe, but other than that, that's good. This is a very, very nice pipe. 
It's got beautiful briar. Look at the bird's eye on the bottom. Stripes on the top. And the front has these waves, which I don't think the camera will pick up. Sterling London. Town Hall. I don't think that's coming up because it's very worn. But it works pretty well. I've smoked it and it, it works great. So, overall, was it success? The repairs held. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is getting like this. Come on. This is done. It's perfect. Anyway, I'm glad you guys were able to, um, whoop, were able to, um, you know, go with me on this experience of repairing this pipe, and I'm glad I was able to bring it back to its former glory. The bowl is still surprisingly deep, even though it's got a thick plug in it. You, can still, you still get a decent amount of feel about it. About half of them. I can get it in deeper, it's just that mine doesn't fit in the hole. But yeah, it's about thumb deep. Well, half thumb deep. And. I love this pipe. I don't know I say that a lot, but I love all my pipes. As for the draw, the draw is great. Condensation problems, not really. This pipe doesn't have them. Actually, does not have very bad condensation problems. It's not as bad as the um, imported briar pipe. But that's because this one doesn't have a uh, condenser. It's just a... Uh, I don't have a filter in it now, but yeah. It's just the standard. Anyway. Thank you guys for following me on this, and I will be posting more videos soon. TX Craft signing out.